Renowned electric vehicle manufacturer has recently forged an exciting new partnership with BYD, the fastest growing EV company not only in China, but in the world. This strategic alliance seems like a no-brainer as it unites two industry leaders with a shared vision of revolutionizing the automotive landscape. Tesla CEO Elon Musk is renowned for his savvy business strategies, and it seems that his latest move to team up with BYD is yet another smart decision. So what does this partnership mean? Will we see lower prices? And what does it mean for Tesla? Join us as we take a look at this exciting new Tesla and BYD partnership. Tesla and BYD are the two largest electric vehicle manufacturers. While they may be competitors in some respects, they also have a fascinating partnership that's been the subject of much speculation. One such partnership that's been making waves in the EV world is Tesla's use of BYD's Blade batteries. While the details of this collaboration are shrouded in secrecy, there have been rumors that Tesla will be using BYD's Blade batteries in its electric vehicles. The Blade batteries are no ordinary batteries, but rather a breakthrough in battery technology that uses LFP chemistry in a unique cell-to-pack approach. This means that there are no battery modules and the batteries actually enhance the structure of the vehicle. The reports of this collaboration first surfaced in August 2021 in China, and since then, the EV community has been abuzz with speculation and excitement. Then, a new development emerged toward the end of 2021 that had EV enthusiasts buzzing. Reports suggested that BYD had secured a massive 10 gig gigawatt hour contract for its LFP batteries, which could power more than 160,000 electric cars per year with 60 kilowatt hour battery packs. This news came at an exciting time, as Tesla had just announced that it was shifting all of its standard range EVs to LFP battery chemistry globally. Furthermore, the entry-level Model 3 and Model Y produced in China already come equipped with CATL's LFP cells. This shift towards LFP batteries is a significant move for Tesla and the EV industry as a whole. LFP batteries are known for being safer, cheaper, and more durable than traditional lithium-ion batteries. Plus, they offer a longer lifespan and can handle more charging cycles. With this shift, Tesla is poised to bring electric vehicles to a wider audience, making them more accessible and affordable for everyone. After months of rumor and speculation, BYD's Executive Vice President Lian Yubo finally confirmed in 2022 that the Chinese manufacturer would be supplying batteries to Tesla very soon. This was the first official confirmation of the partnership between these two electric vehicle giants. In his statement, Lian Yubo revealed that BYD and Tesla had become good friends and that they were preparing to supply batteries to Tesla. This news sent shockwaves through the EV industry as the collaboration between these two companies could bring about even more exciting advancements in battery technology and electric vehicles. And now, according to a recent report, Tesla has begun producing the Model Y SUV with BYD's Blade battery at its German plant. This marks the first time Tesla has used batteries from the Chinese manufacturer, and it's a significant development in their partnership. The BYD Blade battery is expected to be used in the entry-level Model Y rear-wheel drive, while the China-made Model 3 will feature a CATL LFP battery. This is great news for customers, as the Blade battery is known for its impressive safety, durability, and energy density, which translates to longer driving ranges and faster charging times. But the partnership isn't just good news for Tesla customers, it's also a significant milestone for BYD. In 2022, BYD sold over 1.8 million new energy vehicles, surpassing Volkswagen as the best-selling car brand in China. This success has been driven by BYD's innovative battery technology, which has already made a significant impact in the bus industry. The BYD Blade battery is a game-changer in the world of electric vehicles, offering several advantages over traditional lithium-ion batteries. The unique blade-like design enhances heat dissipation, which is a critical aspect of battery safety, and the lithium-iron phosphate LFP chemistry provides exceptional stability and safety. Tesla's decision to utilize the Blade battery in its Model Y is significant, as it could have far-reaching effects on the entire EV market. As a leading player in the industry, Tesla's adoption of this technology technology may inspire other manufacturers to explore using the Blade battery in their vehicles. The partnership between Tesla and BYD is a fascinating development that could lead to many exciting advances in the EV space. By combining their strengths and expertise, these two powerhouses could produce truly superior electric vehicles that could revolutionize the way we think about transportation. Tesla also appears to be making some interesting changes that could have implications for its supply chain and production strategy. One of the most notable changes is the reduction in range rating for the Tesla Model Y performance in Canada. The car's range rating has been downgraded from 303 miles to 285 miles, a decrease of almost 6%. This change is significant because it could indicate that Tesla is switching to a different source for its batteries or that it's adjusting its production process in some way. 
Adding to the intrigue is the fact that Tesla has also eliminated one of the interior options for the Model Y performance in Canada, leaving only the all-black option. This move could suggest that Tesla is streamlining its production process or that it's looking to reduce costs by simplifying its options and focusing on what is most popular among customers. The mysterious change to the Tesla Model Y performance in Canada has left many speculating about the reasons behind it. According to reports, the change might be related to a switch in the source of imports for the Model Y from the United States to China. This switch has resulted in a decrease in the range rating from 303 miles to 285 miles, leaving Tesla fans in Canada perplexed. The lack of official comment from Tesla has added to the intrigue. Tesla Drivers Canada reported that the automaker has not even addressed the change with its employees, leaving many wondering what's going on behind the scenes. However, based on similar changes made by Tesla in the past, it's speculated that this switch is to reflect that the Model Y performance sold in Canada is now being manufactured in China. It's worth noting that in April, Tesla introduced a new rear-wheel drive Model Y RWD, with LFP battery in Canada, which is also expected to be imported from China. And now, there are reports that the Tesla Model 3 rear-wheel drive, LFP-powered, may also be imported to Canada or even North America in general. It's too early to confirm anything, but it seems likely that Tesla is increasing its production in China and importing more vehicles to Canada. The speculation around Tesla's potential switch from importing cars from the US to importing them from China has raised some interesting questions. While the reasons behind this move remain a mystery, some experts suggest that it could be related to Tesla's efforts to maximize its production capacity in the US and take advantage of the $7,500 federal tax credit under the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. In conclusion, Tesla's partnership with Chinese battery manufacturer BYD and its potential shift in import source for the Model Y performance in Canada are notable developments in the electric vehicle industry. The adoption of the Blade battery by Tesla could encourage other EV manufacturers to explore this technology, potentially accelerating the shift to cleaner transportation globally. Furthermore, Tesla's potential shift in import source for the Model Y performance in Canada highlights the company's commitment to producing EVs on a global scale. As Tesla continues to expand its production capabilities, the company will be better positioned to meet the growing demand for electric vehicles and accelerate the transition to sustainable transportation. Overall, these recent developments demonstrate the rapid pace of innovation and growth in the EV market. As more companies enter the industry and new technologies emerge, we can expect to see continued progress towards a more sustainable future. What do you think about the partnership and the Canadian news? Let us know down in the comment section. If you've watched until now, thank you very much. Please consider subscribing to Velocity for more videos about EVs, Tesla, Ford and the latest car news.